So I know you guys play Minecraft Pocket Edition a lot. And it's actually one of the most popular versions of Minecraft out there. The PC version is the least popular, which is crazy. And we played Minecraft Pocket Edition religiously last year when I broke this very hand because it was the only version of Minecraft that I could play. So today, I randomly thought, you know what? Let's go in and play on that old world. But something happened. And it's not good. Press start. So as you can see, we've got Minecraft Pocket Edition in front of us. 0 0.15.9, which is the most recent beta version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Which, by the way, has so many awesome features in it, it is unreal. Compared to a year ago, it is really, really good. Not that it wasn't already, of course. So this is the world that we used to play on. The one at the top called TDM Survival Mode. And we spent literally almost 40 episodes on this one world. So I thought, you know what? Let's load it up, see what it's like. And this bar gets stuck for a while. It's still stuck. It almost loads and no. It crashes. And also, because I'm an idiot, I didn't back it up before I loaded it. So... I think I've lost it. I think I've actually lost that world that we spend so, so long on. It literally just will not load. <laughs> it just crashes. It even teases me by clicking done and then has the sword and the torch there, ready to go with my inventory, but no. It's lost forever. You know what? I thought, no, I'm not going to let this get me down. You guys love Pocket Edition, and I felt like making another video on it. So I cracked open a brand new world. I called it Smiley Face because I wanted to make myself feel that little bit better. And I started a brand new world. Oh, there's there's me. Hello. Um, <laughs> This isn't the view I was hoping for. There we go. That's better. Welcome to my Smiley Face world. Now, it is not impressive whatsoever. All I've done is pretty much just gone mining for resources and then pretty much loaded it up now so I can show you guys what is different inside. Oh, I just saw a zombie. Zombie? Zombie, where are you? There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you can't get me, you little chump. What are you going to do now, huh? You can't even touch me. But I can definitely... Ah, yes. Look at you. Look at you trying to get me. You are kind of on fire. You're glowing a very beautiful orange. Are you feeling okay? Oh, no, look. He's on fire. The fire looks different in Minecraft Pocket Edition. It looks kind of cool, though. Are you going to die anytime soon, or shall I help you? There you go. <laughs> Death to zombies. So check it out. Look. This is where I spawned in in this world on a massive desert biome crossed with a biome. I can't remember its name, but it's got acacia wood planks, which is one of my favorite woods in Minecraft. It's kind of like the orange colored one. Let me see if I can grab it from my inventory real quick. Um, I haven't got any. Oh, there I do. Look. Acacia wood, the orange one, it looks so nice. But as I mentioned, Pocket Edition has changed a lot. I'm fairly sure straight away that this is a brand new biome. This was not in Minecraft Pocket Edition when we were playing. And also something in my inventory that didn't exist, cooked mutton. When you slay a sheep, you get a piece of mutton. So sheep, I'm sorry, I'm coming for you. Let me slay you. Boom, let me kill you. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you chump. I'm still getting used to the Pocket Edition controls, especially with two hands, because I played this without two hands last time. It was crazy. But where is the mutton? There is my mutton replacing my sword looking beautiful. So yeah, you can now get food from sheep, which is awesome. And there is full redstone in this game. At least most of it. And unfortunately, I haven't come across diamonds yet, which I'm really, really surprised about because I have been looking underground for ages. But I have come across lapis and redstone, which you can see in here. And let me just bring this all the way across just so I can show you what you can actually make with redstone now. So if I go over to the crafting table, you'll see that we've got the ability to make redstone torches, which was kind of available by the last time that we played Pocket Edition, but it was very, very early beta. But now it's in the full game, which you can get straight away. We've got new doors. We've got redstone blocks. It's so awesome. We've got pressure plates. We've got everything. Now, let me just show you around my world. But first, let me show you over to the desert bit before it gets dark, because there is someone or some things that I want you to meet. Where are they? Guys? Guys, I told you to wait around here so I could introduce you to someone. Oh, no. Okay, um, I don't know where they've gone, but they should be around here somewhere. Also, just as a thought, was hunger in our original Let's Play? I don't even think it was, so 
Hunger's new as well. <laughs> yes, here they are, look! We've got ourselves rabbits! But these aren't the normal kind of bunnies that you see in regular Minecraft. These guys look like sand bunnies. They have their own, like, sandy skin. They're not brown, they're not black. Look! Look at him looking at me. He's so cute. And I'm pretty sure that you can get some food from these guys too. But they are so cute that I just don't want to kill them. And it's kind of getting dark. So I'm going to show you the rest of my world right now. Underground. In the safe. And we've also got one of these wells over here. One of these desert wells. Which um, doesn't really do much. But it does look cool. And I kind of use it as a waypoint. Which is quite handy. So here is my front door. What do you think? <laughs> but no seriously everything is very rough. Because all I wanted to do. Was kind of just get some resources together. Like redstone. Maybe some lapis. Because I'm not 100% sure if they've changed the um, the system for enchanting or not. But um, let me just cook this mutton. While I am downstairs. There we go. And yeah, it's just literally a hole in the ground is my house with a bed and some torches. And then we've got this where I just mine all the way down to try and find as many resources as possible. And to be honest, I found a crazy cave system, but haven't really found that many resources. I have got myself an awesome set of full iron armor and an iron sword, but... I'm still lacking diamonds. I haven't found diamonds yet. Look how crazy this place is. There's literally so many places to go. I'm not really sure where to start. There's just so many different caves. And it's good that they all kind of lead to the same place as well. Which is kind of handy, but also very confusing for getting around. Now, how do I get to the deepest part? I want to find diamonds. Hey, here we go. This is one of the deepest parts of this cave system. I can't remember. I think it's this way. Right down here. This is where I go to the deepest part. But I don't want to get lost. And you know what, guys? I have already drowned in gravel. Because look, this gravel should not be floating there whatsoever. And there is gravel everywhere. So if I knock one piece of this by accident, the whole ceiling caves in. And that's happened to me already. And I lost everything, which is absolutely terrible. But you know what? It was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, here we go. Here's a brand new piece. Oh, Check this out. This goes pretty deep down. I'm a little bit worried about going down there, though, because I won't be able to get back up. Oh, no, I wasn't meant to do that. I was meant to place down a piece of cobble. You know what? That works. That absolutely works. Okay, let's have a quick explore down here. And I really want to find diamonds. I don't have that many torches on me. I don't know if I have a... Oh, I have coal on me. And I have wood as well, so it's not too bad. Okay. This is um, exciting, but also pretty terrifying. Let's go this way. Follow the water. Oh, there's gold. There is gold. That is awesome. Right, I've got some more torches. Oh, a creeper. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? Um, you want to taste the... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, there's going to be a big old cave-in. <laughs> I saw the gravel above his head, and I was like, no, this is not happening. Oh, jeez. Okay, I am... I'm under the water. This is a bad place to be, and I am going to die. Why did that skeleton do so much damage to me? I'm out of here. I am definitely out of here. My combat in Pocket Edition is awful. Okay, let me regen a little bit and then you're in big trouble, buddy. I have full iron. Did I take a bit of a um, a bit of a hit from that creeper? I think I might have done. Jeez, this guy packs a punch. Actually, you know what? I've just thought of something that I definitely wanted to explore in this video. It's back up at the surface, but it is epic and I saved it specifically for this video. Come on. And if we're lucky, there could be diamonds there. Okay, here we are at our staircase. So we want to make it out of the front door, really. Okay, we want to go to sleep because it's nighttime, definitely. <laughs> ah, we're good. Okay, sorry if it's a little bit choppy, by the way, the gameplay, because I don't know why, but this beta version runs terribly on my tiny little tablet. I think I might need to get a new one if I decide to play more Minecraft Pocket Edition. Right, we need to head this way, I think, and there is something pretty exciting round here. I just need to walk a little bit more straight. A little bit more straight. And I think it's down to the left here. Yes, it is. Look! Mossy cobblestone for no reason. Apparently, this attaches to... Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be um, a bit that I had put torches down in. But you know what? Of course it's lava. I mean, why wouldn't it be? And that goes down to another cave system. Okay, perfect. Right. That means there's a dungeon here. That's why there's mossy cobble. So I want to take this on on camera because why not? Let's do this. So let's, um, oh, someone's arm just came through the blocks. Did you see that? Let's see who's crackalacking in here. Hello. 
<laughs> Look at these guys. They are all just chilling in here. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Right, I'm just going to try and kill these guys real quick. Get out of here. Just tap my fingers to the bone. There's a little baby one down there. We actually need to be careful of him because he should be able to get through here. Is it a baby one? I don't even know if that's a baby one. I don't think it is. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's all good. Right, let's knock out this window here. They're still spawning in. No, okay. They can reach through this and hit me as much as I can hit them. So I want to quickly see what is in these chests because I'm a little bit... Oh, they're in the floor. Okay, okay. You know what? The reinforcements is coming in with the gold armor and stuff. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Actually, it's not fine. Get out of here, you chumps. Right, let's go straight in. Here we go. Oh, wait. Is that a baby one? That is a baby one. Look, it's right there. Oh, a gold chest plate as well. Don't mind if I do. Right, I'm going to... Oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? They spawn so quickly. They're spawning in with chainmail and stuff too. This is crazy. Right, let's open it up. Let's, let's get risky up in here. Let's get real risky. So there's some villagers as well. There's a baby zombie right here. Just not even paying attention. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Let's just get this out of here. Go on, hit him with a pickaxe and mine it. Mine it. Mine it. Yes, okay, that is first bit done. But wait, wait a second, why aren't they, um... Why aren't they attacking me? They're just gonna let me in? Really? Okay, let's just, um, let's just take all of this stuff really quickly. <laughs> and get out of here. Right, um, is that it? You know what? I'm out of here, guys. See you later, guys. Um, you know what? It was nice meeting you, but you can stay in there. See you later. <laughs> that was so weird. Even the baby ones weren't stuck in the ground, but they just, they just didn't care. That's fine with me. What did we get? Okay, let's have a look at our loots. We got ourselves some horse armor. We got two name tags. We got some bread, a golden chest plate. You know what? I thought that was going to be better, but I am not complaining. That was pretty cool. And the zombies liked me so much that they didn't want to kill me. Oh, they're so nice around here. I love my neighbors. So let's put away our goodies in here. That's that. That's that. There must be horses in here then, which I did not know about at all, which is amazing, by the way. We've got some gunpowder too, which is really random. Some wool. I don't know where that came from. Oh. The sheep we killed. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I had planned for this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit about Pocket Edition and tell you about my world that's just gone. And ask you guys if you want to see some more Minecraft Pocket Edition. Obviously, I'll work on this world so it's kind of close to where we had before. Or we can start a whole new world and maybe stream it, get together, work stuff out. And just make a whole awesome Pocket Edition world with redstone, which is awesome. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more Pocket Edition by leaving a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Because I played this without two hands last time. It was crazy. But where is the mutton? There is my mutton replacing my sword looking beautiful. So yeah, you can now get food from sheep, which is awesome. And... There is full redstone in this game. At least most of it. And unfortunately, I haven't come across diamonds yet, which I'm really, really surprised about because I have been looking underground for ages. But I have come across lapis and redstone, which you can see in here. And let me just bring this all the way across just so I can show you what you can actually make with redstone now. So if I go over to the crafting table, you'll see that we've got the ability to make redstone torches, which was kind of available by the last time that we played Pocket Edition, but it was very, very early beta. But now, it's in the full game, which you can get straight away. We've got new doors, we've got redstone blocks. It's so awesome. We've got pressure plates, we've got everything. Now, let me just show you around my world. But first, let me show you over to the desert bit before it gets dark, because there is someone or some things that I want you to meet. Where are they? Guys? Guys, I told you to wait around here so I could introduce you to someone. Oh, no. Okay, um, I don't know where they've gone, but they should be around here somewhere. Also, just as a thought, was hunger in our original Let's Play? I don't even think it was, so hunger's new as well. <laughs> yes! Here they are, look! We've got ourselves rabbits! But these aren't the normal kind of bunnies that you see in regular Minecraft. These guys look like sand bunnies. They have their own, like, sandy skin. They're not brown, they're not black. Look! Look at him looking at me. He's so cute. And I'm pretty sure that you can get some food from these guys too, but they are so cute that I just don't want to kill them. And it's kind of getting dark, so I'm going to show you the rest of my world right now. Underground. 
in the safe. And we've also got one of these wells over here, one of these desert wells, which um, doesn't really do much, but it does look cool, and I kind of use it as a waypoint, which is quite handy. So here is my front door. What do you think? <laughs> but no, seriously, everything is very rough, because all I wanted to do was kind of just get some resources together, like redstone, maybe some lapis, because I'm not 100% sure if they've changed the um, the system for enchanting or not. But um, let me just cook this mutton while I am downstairs. 